All right, I'm here today in the brand new LC 2020 Lexus LC 500, the hybrid edition. It is gorgeous. Look at all this leather. Look at this fine metal work everywhere. The steering wheel is gorgeous. The consoles are amazing. We're going to talk about all of that today, but I just want to just want to go through real quick at how gorgeous the inside of this car is. It really is amazing. It feels good. It looks good. All of this stuff, the Alpaca fake suede right here, the brushed metal, the flappy paddle things feel nice. It's just great. Even the horn sounds beautiful. Listen to this. It's just amazing. I love every Oh my Alex. Oh shoot. Oh, Are you uh. taking with the concierge again? Uh, I was just I was just Nobody you know, tunes in. This isn't the Alex on cars. This is the dirt on cars, okay? I just wanted to see so, what so it was why like don't you to climb out but, of the driver's but, seat. But, Let's go, buddy. Uh, Let's go. Chop chop. Leave it to the on. pros. I swear to god I'm going to get a I'm going to get a tripod and replace you. This week we're in the Lexus LC 500H. It's great. <laughs> mm, get in this car. <laughs> oh my God. Look at these cool little lock buttons. We're in the Lone Star State's capital and we're driving the LC 500H, which is a hybrid and happens to be the most beautiful car Lexus has ever made. Probably in the running for the most beautiful car you could buy right now. Super comfortable car. Designed to go across the United States in comfort. And? And? Luxury? Thank you. Am I allowed to speak yeah. in this video? When I set you up, you must speak. Otherwise, I look like a big dummy. So this car has an option for the 5 liter V8 with uh, 471 horsepower. Yes, I still talk about horsepower because, yeah. We like to quantify power. It means a lot, okay? Jeez, get off my back, NPR. NPR's not on my back. <laughs> Surprise, my <laughs> So this isn't the five liter V8, this is the hybrid, which gets two electric motors, 3.5 liter V6, which is good for like 295 horsepower. And then the combined, all of that is, edit. We'll just jump cut to me saying the correct number. <laughs> Hang on. Uh... <laughs> This is already a shit show. 354 total system horsepower, and that goes through a unique sort of transmission. It uses both a CVT and a more traditional transmission. I don't know how, don't ask me. Real riders have already done that work. I can tell you that it has 10 forward speeds and reverse, and you can't go as fast as you want in reverse. It limits you, which is safe. And it's got paddle shifters, which is nice, so when you're in Sport Plus, you can uh, pull on these bad boys to shift up or down and those are made of magnesium so that feels good that's an exotic metal magnesium so you can hit a button here on the steering wheel and it moves that gauge bezel over the rest is all digital projection but very cool we have eco normal comfort sport and sport plus that's like five or six it doesn't matter it also has snow mode which uh we're not going to use because there's snow, snow around here. Did I do it? Did I make <laughs> a joke great. that wasn't at the expense of somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> Barely. We also can take the traction control off. Uh, we're not going to do that today because it's a little rainy and it's an awfully expensive car. I don't have that much to say about this car other than when it came out as a concept, I was just like, Lexus will never make that. It doesn't look like a Lexus. It's just too beautiful. They don't do stuff like this. This is outlandish. From the outside, this car looks wild. And I just thought when I saw the concept, that's beautiful, we'll see if it makes it to the street. And then they just made it. It's crazy. And every once in a while you see one, it's like 
takes your breath away a little bit. It's like seeing a celebrity. You're just like, what? Is that Steven Tyler? Oh God, he's a lot smaller than I thought he'd be. <laughs> but that's not what you think about the Lexus LC500. What you think when you see this is like, good Lord, that's a good looking car. And then if it's the V8 version, you hear it. And it's just sonorous. Lovely. The hybrid, you can sneak up on people and surprise them with the beauty of the car. Even though this doesn't have the V8 power, it definitely scoots. It gets zero to 60 done in 4.7 seconds. This LC500H is upfitted with the sports package, which includes a glass roof. It doesn't open, but you can get the sunshine in. It does have power, heated, and ventilated seats. I'm hot! I can't stand the heat! Why don't you just get out of Lexus? Don't, don't turn on the climate concierge by accident. This is the best echo I've ever shot from. <laughs> I already regret that. <laughs> Lamar. I love Austin. Visiting. I never feel like I'm in it. Anywhere. I yeah. always feel like I'm adjacent. But I tell you what I am in is the Lexus LC500H. And it's beautiful here. Bottom line, Lexus LC500H, awfully pretty car. It makes me uncomfortable how pretty this car is. If I was a teenage girl and this car was my friend, I'd be the ugly one. God, I'm handsome. Probably with a worse personality too. <laughs> you have an SOS thing. Yeah, we're not gonna touch that today. Okay. But oh, look how cool this is, like jet fighter. So there are some things under the hood. It looks like they're explosives, and I, I don't know why, but they're on every corner under the hood. I guess so if you get in a wreck, it just blows the hood off, and so it doesn't come through the car like a guillotine. I don't know that for a fact, though. We're gonna have to fact check that. Can I keep that hat on? No, I'd rather not. <laughs> For the sake of continuity, let's not. And, uh, you know, I like the Texas but it's not like they sponsored this video. Yeah, no free branding. Well, big, we got the car. So yeah, big really thanks free. to Drive Shop. Drive Shop! Drive Shop! Uh, 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 drive shop. You don't want it, but you, you for real don't want to use the cool like rap songs and uh, from that one video in the weird filters over the sky. With that like Dr. Dre early 2000s sound. Bling, 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 bling. <laughs> bling, 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 bling. Bling, 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 bling. Bling, 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 bling. This particular LC500H is upfitted with 21 inch rims, a heads up display, 13 speaker Mark Levinson sound system, a sport package that includes this glass roof, super slick, and some Alcantara on the inside, and some eight way power adjustable seats. So you can get comfy on the road. This car starts at 97,480 bucks. And with all those features, it pushes the price up to $103,000, which puts it in the 100K club. Club. Shout out to Davey504. Wow. <laughs> Don't do that. It's a Lexus, so you are buying into the luxury brand. What it is, is excellent. Everything's like so solid. I like how they've got this. Yeah, you've got these little <gasps> oh no handles on both sides for when I start doing wacky stuff. <laughs> It all touches well. Is that a thing? Yeah. I the hand feel? Yeah, it's got a strong hand feel. <laughs> As opposed to like the mouth feel? Yeah. I haven't tried the mouth feel yet. 
<laughs> that review's coming. This feels like $100,000. When you climb in it, when you look at it, and the way that the interior is finished out, not to say that other Lexuses I've driven don't feel like their price point. This one really nails it, drives it home. I had a crush on this car before I ever drove it. So, uh, what's there's... it like being inside it now? <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. I like it the way it feels inside. I just wish I could stay inside a little longer. Being inside this car is like if your mom died when you were young and you knew of her, but you didn't know her. So, of course, you felt like a, an emptiness inside your whole life. But just because, you know, she wasn't around and you were raised by your dad. But then suddenly you're 11 and a half and your dad says, hey, I've met someone new and we're already engaged. And she's an heiress to like a, I don't know, the Tyson Chicken franchise or something like that. She's got absurd money. So now you, you feel fulfilled. And uh, being inside the LC500 is like being inside her purse. <laughs> That's f terrible, man. How did I ever make that connection? <laughs> I don't know. It's like being inside a fine Italian handbag, I guess. It's phenomenal. It's uh, it's all leather and Alcantara. It's got this beautiful like peanut butter color, and everything you touch is buttery smooth and exceptional quality, except for this. Why does it do that? Let's not include that. This car's perfect. And we talked about how much you hate this trackpad yet today because like last time you were talking about how mm -mm. from like a nerd film mm -mm. i don't think i ever said anything negative against the trackpad in these cars trackpad mouse thing and i don't want to linger on it but it is like lexus lost a bet to honda or somebody why they punish us with a silly trackpad i don't know this is the worst way to do this you absolutely can't use it while you're driving that's it that's all i'm gonna say it's stupid <laughs> I'd rather talk about the Nightfall Mica paint. It's beautiful. It's a dark shade of blue. It complements the peanut butter interior beautifully. I'll show you how to turn on the uh, shower. <laughs> Baby. Come on, man. Oh, how does this work? Is it like a nerd film? I don't know what you're talking about. There. <laughs> Perfect. Turn on the shower system. <laughs> Why does it look like that? See, they're like shooting stars. Headed to your face. Anyway, I love this car. It's perfect. Look at that. There's an Alfa Romeo. I gave him the nod. He didn't even give me a nod back. He's like, he's like, oh. Younger than me? What is he? Some sort of rap musician? <laughs>
and I pretended like I owned it to make him feel bad. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the end? <laughs> or is it? Plenty of passing power, even in the hybrid. You won't want for power. It's comfortable. Torquey. Oh yeah, talk about how it feels to drive. Yeah, that's kind of what we're doing here, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It feels, it feels special like sharing a beer with Michael Keaton. It doesn't matter how interesting you are, it's Michael Keaton. Nobody wants to talk to Michael Keaton's buddy. They want to talk to Michael Keaton, but by like, like the interesting sort of rubs off on you. You're interesting because you're at the table with Michael Keaton is what I'm trying to say. So this car is like, it, driving this car feels like drinking beer with Michael Keaton. If you could do that in your stepmother's purse. What I mean to say is it feels very good and you feel really special driving it because it is exceptionally good looking. It is the most beautiful Lexus ever. And I know fanboys are gonna say, what about the LFA? Well, just Google it. It doesn't look that good anymore. It was spectacular when they made it because at that point it was the best Lexus ever. But now you look at that and it belongs in the trash can and this is, uh, I don't know, belongs on a pedestal. That's terrible. That Edit that out, great. please. I loved all of that. I've put over 600 miles on it now, and I've driven it more than halfway across the largest of the contiguous United States. And as a highway cruiser, it's exceptional. Cruises 80 all day long, and there are times when the EV kicks in, and it's just ghostly quiet. You're just like, whizzing along at 65 and the car's making zero noise because the interior is crypt quiet the handling is buttery smooth it's not so over assisted that it feels like artificially light there's a little bit of weight to it it does have paddle shifters which make for a fun time i've i don't mess with manual mode though it, it's there and it's got the power to like slither around if you want to punch it out of a turn I don't know what kind of track car it'd be. I'm sure that it's capable. I think that this car really shines as a Grand Tour. Touring car. Grand Touring car. You can jump cut that together, right? <laughs> Just yeah. smash it together. It is a Lexus among Lexuses. It's beautiful. It's stunning. Everybody likes this car. And if you don't, you're wrong. If you don't like this car, you need to do some soul searching. It's like your favorite song, only for your eyes. It's the most beautiful Lexus ever built. Fight me. Lexus, send me more perfect cars, please. I need another member of the 100K Club. <laughs> it's the most beautiful Lexus inside and out. Don't think so? Fight me. <laughs>